welcome everyone now let's start now what we are going to model we are going to model a landing site here the place where the kids are going to get land and then they are going to get slide so we need a kind of a floor here so let's start with this particular box click on this box and just make an box of any random dimension i'm going to let you know that how we can fix this dimension okay now uh, we need to make it 3d it is kind of right now a 2d so we'll so i'm going to click on this push and pull option i'm going to click on it and just make it four inches okay so the floor is going to be like four inches now what we need we need to make it a bit fix in this particular you can say geometry that it need not to be away from this particular floor uh sorry pillars this need to be fit in between these four pillars so what we can do how we can do that particular thing the snap command or you can say in the snap feature is by default always on in the uh, uh, this sketchup so that is by default always remain active so how and how we can do that particular thing and what does it mean we are going to see before doing that we need to pull it up so we can just double click on uh, triple click on this particular thing and we can make a component of it. or you can say like that make component and you can make a component like floor and you can create it now we are going to move it up so just click here and move it up so try to be a bit straight so let's go um four feet okay so we are going to go here you can take it uh almost uh at the center or you can go a bit uh, less i'll go a bit less let's go only three feet okay so it's now here now we need to make it a little bit big okay but we are not going to use any dimension yes so how we can do this i have told you earlier in the classes that if you want to add it a component you just have to double click it so you can just double click it now you can go on to this push and pull command and i'm i want to push this particular thing. and i want to push this particular thing until the inner face of this particular call okay inner face of this particular so i have i am holding right now my click okay i have not released the click and i can extrude it uh, this much or this much or this much but the moment i am going to take my cursor onto this particular column it is going to get attached it can attach onto this particular face also that is the outer face also and the inner face also but i want it to be at the inner face only so i am going to release my click on this particular snap point so the moment i am going to click it my box will be reached out at the or it will connect till this particular point okay so similarly we can do it on all the four faces try to fix your uh, viewport such that you can work around okay or or it will uh, be a bit uh, tough for you so i am going to click here okay and i am holding my uh, mouse button and i am going to snap it on this particular position similarly let's rotate it from middle mouse shift middle mouse to pan around okay and i am going to take it from here and i am going to fix at this particular position same i am going to do it with this one okay middle mouse and at the interface this now what you can do you can just double click anywhere else to get out of the group. so this is how the landing can be done uh, more refinement can be done here if you want this slab to be at this particular portion so what you can do you can just cut it out okay you can just cut this portion how you can cut this portion take this pencil and just try to draw a line here from here to here double click here to uh, or you can just press escape to get out of the command middle mouse rotate shift middle mouse to pan around click here and click here and escape to out of the command. now what what we are doing we have just divided this box in this particular rectangle here you can do what you can just uh, double click it to edit this component you can uh, you can just pull it around just go on to the push and pull click on this particular thing and this time just try to snap on this outer face like this okay similarly rotate middle mouse pan middle mouse okay take this pencil tool double click here escape click here click here escape take the push and pull push done okay do it same way into the other directions also do it for this particular thing also pencil here here middle mouse rotate here here take push and pull 
here and here. Done. Okay. So this is how you can do it. It's as easy as that to make a flow or you can say to cut the things. Okay. So I hope this video was useful. Let's meet into the next video.